This is Curtis Brown with Music Gods Magazine, and we have a guest, a special guest, Trendy, recording artist Trendy. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Definitely. So, you know, we're just checking out your stuff. Um, I, very, very innovative stuff, um, a little nostalgic from what I see. Um, kind of reminds me of... Uh, uh, in Vogue, Don't Let Go era, you know, that kind of music, that kind of pop rock sound. How would you describe your style? Um, it's pretty weird. I, I like to describe it as R&B with an eclectic twist. Um, I love to sing. I love soulful music, but at the same time, I like to be different and I like to have fun, and I still like to kind of bop, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, where are you from originally? I'm originally from Virginia Beach. Well, I was born in a hospital in Virginia Beach, and I was raised in Norfolk, but I went to school in Chesapeake. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick with Virginia Beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're from you're from VA. Um, yep. A lot of a lot of a lot of talented uh, artists out of VA. Missy uh, Timberland, yeah. Yes, most definitely. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Um, and you know how how long have you been uh, doing this? Like, okay. Well, um, I started singing about seven um, in the church choir. Um, a lot mm. of my family sings, so we have a very heavy gospel background. Um, I love harmonies. I love music. I just I love it. It's my passion. But um, I think I got serious about it. Sometime like two thousand six, seven, like professionally, um, right. I really, I want to say I didn't go hard to maybe mm-hmm. about three, four, or five years ago. Is that right? Okay, okay. <laughs> wow, do you write your own uh, lyrics? Um, for the most part, I write my own lyrics, but um, I also have um, a couple people I work with, you know, to get more ideas to, you know. Yeah, just to get more ideas. So sometimes I write, sometimes I don't, but I am a writer. <laughs> okay, great, great. You have a single, uh, Don't Go. Uh, tell us about that single. No, it's actually called Don't Say No. <laughs> Ooh, I said it. Don't Go. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm on that. I'm still on, I'm still on the In Vogue. <laughs> I'm still on the In Vogue comment. Um, so Don't Say No, okay. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that single. What what inspired you to write that single? Okay, um, I have a mentor, and he helped develop me, and he, you know, helped try to help me get more creative because at first I had a hard time like trying to come into a, come into a, as an artist. Um, like I said, I'm used to you know singing in a choir, singing with family, just regular singing, not so much as business and singing. So, um, me and him kind of were. Just coming up with ideas. It's been a process of trying to find a sound. We were coming up with ideas, and, you know, he helped me write a song, and um, I had touch bases with a friend of mine, um, Rico Love, and he helped me make the beat from scratch. And so we just were vibing, and and actually the words fit, and it just it came about. Um, Music Theory Studios in Virginia Beach with Jazz and Ray, um, they mixed it, they mastered it, and, you know, I was just excited because that was the first time, like, I ever really officially dropped music, and I actually did a lot of it by myself, um, the video, the casting, um, makeup arts, everything. So it was nice. it was fun. It was fun. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so I actually saw the video. Uh, tell us a little bit about the concept. It seemed pretty interesting. Oh, honestly, well, the whole concept uh, did not <laughs> – the, the treatment – and the video are nothing the same. Um, I had a whole other idea, but uh, everything went wrong. So we just really mm. had to improvise. We had to improvise as we went along. Um, um, it was actually supposed to be shot in, like, North Carolina. But, like I said, everything went wrong. So I ended up going to one of my old houses growing up. But I stayed there with my parents. <laughs> we went in the backyard. Um, I ended up going to my parents' current house. Going in the park, literally, we improvised. Um, it was almost a disaster. I almost went mm. to jail because wow, because you got stories did, on that. Right, oh, I have wow. stories. 
<laughs> right. They thought we were trespassing, but I was at my mom's house. So, I mean, but the the final the final project was it was it still came out nice. So everything that happened wasn't supposed to happen, but you know, we made it right. Well, that's that usually what happens is, you know, things don't go right, but they always fall into place and usually wind up being better than you expected. Right, so, right. Yeah, Definitely. very good video. Definitely very good video. I love the concept. Thank you. Um, so are you working on an album or working on another single? Um, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but, well, I don't know if you know, I had a baby, so since I dropped the single... I had got pregnant, and my daughter's one, so I kind of, I'm trying to get back. So um, I've been working with different people, and the idea is an EP, but or a single. So it just depends on what comes out of what we end up doing. Right. So I mean, okay. you know, as long as we get a single, it might be a single, it might be an EP. So be on the lookout for either one. <laughs> okay, got you, got you. Um, do you have like a general theme that you like to sing about? Um, is it you know heartbreak? Is it love? Is it you know what? What are what are some of the subject matters you like to touch on? Um, I don't want to sound basic, but of course, a lot of it is about heartache. A lot of it is about you know things we go through. You know, as a mom. Personal. Different- personally like it's a lot of personal stuff but on the same token even though it might not be my experience it's still personal might be your experience might be something other people can relate yeah i try to um talk about things people can relate to but being that my style is you know different kind of eclectic i try to make it fun at the same time you know i might have a song talking about haters or heartache or you know anything but it just still might be fun you might be still be able to vibe to it, might be able to dance to it. So try to put a different twist on it instead of having like R and B crying music. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> wow. Wow. So what? What? So I guess real life was is, is really what inspires you, like is, you know, real life situations, looking at other people's situation as well as your own. Yep. Yep. That's what. Hmm. That's where it comes from. Gotcha. It's more natural that way, more authentic. People can relate to it better when it's real. Okay. Nice, nice. Um, you've done some modeling as well, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, actually, when I realized I wanted to be an artist, I still I, I shied away because I just was had this thing about singing in front of people and talking in front of people. I wasn't, I hadn't stepped into my own yet. So I did modeling because, you know, all you have to do is be pretty. Don't really have to talk. Just show up. No, don't say a lot. So that's actually um, a lot of how I got my name from modeling. A lot of people probably didn't even know I could sing. And I had to step back and be like, look, hold on. You're, you are you don't really, mo- I'm good at modeling. Don't get me wrong. But that's, mm-hmm. that's not where my heart lies. It's with music. Um, but right. I, I've grown to have a passion for both. But, of course, music um, is my number one passion. Yeah, so you're you're really like a triple threat. You 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 can sing, you songwrite, you model. So that's 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 really good. That's really good. You, actually, <laughs> it's weird. I don't want to seem like a person who think they can do everything, but you know, just over life things happen. I actually got the name Trendy because I used to be on a dance team, like hip hop dance team. And me and my friends used to love pop locking and reggae and, and oh I used wow! To, I used to actually wear tennis <laughs> shoes and mohawks. I never wore heels. I never was a girly girl. So before right. the modeling was that, and then my friends kind of pushed me into modeling. So that's kind of how the name Trendy came about. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, you think you think you might want to do some acting in the future? Yeah, I do. Um, I actually do because I feel like the sky's limitless. I don't think you should put yeah. boundaries on yourself. Entertainment is entertainment, whether it's hosting, singing, modeling. You know, if you're good at it, why not try it? You only have one life, so why not? Yeah, it seemed, it seemed like that would be like a natural progression for you, you know? Yeah, yep. Okay. What um, what are some of your favorite artists? Who 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 really influences you, you the most, um, past and present? Well, past, um, of course. Whitney Houston, the late Whitney Houston. Um, uh, actually, my favorite. a lot of Brandy growing up. Um, currently and in the past, Jasmine Sullivan, Fantasia. Um, now, mm. I, I pretty much still listen to them. 
Um, I actually like a lot of new artists. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Daya, and I like uh, Ariana Grande. And I actually, it's, it's a mixture. Um, Fetty Wap, I love, um, and I know I'm going to say their name wrong, Ray. <laughs> Yes, Ray Shamar. Ray A variety of things. Yep. Right. I love that. Oh, wow. That's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> name some producers that you might want to work with. Who do you want to work with? Mm, let's see. I would actually love to work with Timbaland and Missy. Uh, I hate to sound so Virginia, but I had a fami- I had a I had a feeling <laughs> I had a feeling you was gonna say that, but but I get it, you know that Virginia sound, and you know they are like some of the hottest producers in the industry. So um, Pharrell, what about Pharrell? Yeah, I say him. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm probably oh, mumble, but because yeah, okay. all of them have they have a I don't want to say weird like weird eclectic sound, right. and they're themselves. So I really. I loved it. I loved in their their talented. Why not? I mean, growing up, and remember I told you I was on the dance team, so a lot of missing right. songs. So and Timbaland, they make crazy beats. Yep, yep, oh, yep, yep. Definitely, they have they have their own uh, signature style. I like to say. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, what would you consider your greatest motivation? That's the easy one. My children. Uh, children are my motivation because even if I want to give up or I don't feel like it or, I mean, I have to, unless I, like, want to be like a deadbeat mom and that's that's not going to happen. My three beautiful children, yep, that's my motivation every day. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely a, a, a big motivation, I, I can see. Um, what about challenges? Have you experienced any challenges? What challenges are you facing right now? Musically or just overall? Musically. Um, I at, at first and sometimes now I have a hard time kind of doubting myself. It's like sometimes I get in my own way and it's like other people will see and I might know how great I can be, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, what if I mess up or what if this is not good? And uh, So sometimes when I do that, when I get in the studio, I don't let loose or I just – I'm just in my own way. I'm afraid of failing and afraid of just disappointing myself and, and my kids and people. And honestly, that really has been a, a struggle because, like I said, right. I'll be in the studio, I'll get somewhere, and I won't reach my full potential because mm. I'm just, like, worried to death, if that's what I call it. Um, what, do you, what do you do to, to get past that? Now is – I kind of got to talk junk to myself, <laughs> like uh, – <laughs> Girl, you wack, or girl, you're not going to do this. You're going to prove everybody right, or you are going to be a failure. So it's, I have, I'm sure a lot of people have somewhat of an ego or pride. So when I do that to myself, I'm like, look, no, I'm not. I'm not going to mess you up. Have, I'm going to great. <laughs> I got this. You have that, have that uh, Eminem seven-mile conversation with yourself in the mirror, right? That back. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. Well, I definitely hear all confidence in your music when I hear the music. So, you know, you have a you have some really good uh music out there and I love the single as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well what what is your goal? What is your, your highest aspiration with with this? Like do you want a Grammy? Do you want what what do you want to do with this? Where do you want to take it? I don't want to sound more uh crazy. But um, I, I do a lot of other things to make money because I love business. I don't really necessarily have to be the biggest, the the greatest, but, I mean, I want to be to a point where people know who I am, and I want to be to a point where I want to motivate people. If I can do that, um, that's really a big goal of mine because, mm-hmm. I mean, I get a lot of people, males, females, who inbox me or message me and, like, yo, you have kids, you just had a baby, or you just did this, you're a single mom. Right. If you can do that, I can. And, I mean, I don't want to say it, sound like um, being phony, but that's that's real because, I mean, um, like I spoke to you earlier, you know, I, I have a great job and I do a lot of different things, so it's not necessarily about the money. But I do feel if you are great and you influence people, that will come. And Grammys could come from that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, I guess that ties into this question, too. What, what would be your advice to 
to some artists trying to get in the business. Trying to get in business or just trying to yeah. something? Just, just trying to do what you're doing. You know, they just starting out and, you know, what, what would you, what would you tell them? First off, I would tell them to know the business side. Um, try to teach yourself because Google, they have books, they have libraries. Make yourself informed because that's why I messed up at first. I didn't know the business side, and I kind of messed up a lot. Not messed up a lot of things, but I kind of screwed myself a lot. So know the business, be confident in yourself, and never, ever, 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 ever give up. Because when obstacles come your way, you'll really get discouraged. It's very easy. But if you keep going, keep going, keep going, you will okay. succeed and perfect your craft. Absolutely, absolutely. So, all right, well, you know, you drop by Music Guys magazine, and we definitely enjoy, you know, talking with you, chopping it up with you, learning a little bit more about Trendy. And I'm sure... You know, think this is just the beginning for you. Things are things are about to take off for you. You know, it's, it, it looks very promising for you. Um, I personally would like the listeners to hear a little vocal freestyle, if you if you will. The, can you can you give oh us a God. little <laughs> a little sample? I know I'm putting you on the spot. You but, put me you know, all the way on the spot. I know, I know, but, you know, I, I think the people want to hear, you know, just a little something, just a little 16, you know, a quick 16. <laughs> oh, God, so many songs. What would I sing? Um, Something of my own or something? It, it could be It could be somebody else. It could be your own. It could be somebody else's. You know, we just want to hear your, hear your, hear your skills. Okay. I'll just go to the song I always go to because <laughs> it's one of my favorite songs. Um, okay. <clears throat> Whew. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all right. Take the time. <laughs> if I could, could forget him, I would, please believe me. And I know that I should. Throw the towel in, but baby, it's not, not that easy. Hey, you treat me so much better than him. Yeah, I'm going to stop right here. Oh, <laughs> no. nice. I drew a nice, blank. I drew a nice. blank. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I'm glad wow. I wasn't worth something. <laughs> <laughs> really, really appreciate that. You know, I should have known better, though. I should have known that was coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Always got you. Always have to be prepared. You know, you're an artist, so you know. Definitely any, do. Definitely any, do. Any given any given moment. <laughs> yep, so yep, again, yep. Uh, we we appreciate you stopping by. Let it, let everybody know where they can um, find you, find your music, give out your you know give out your info, your social media and website. Okay, I try to keep everything simple so you don't got to find me all over the place. Um, you can find me on my website at www.misstrendy, M-I-Z-Z-T-R-E-N-D-I.com. That's my Instagram. Um, that's my Twitter. My Facebook is I Am Trendy, um, spelled the same way. Um, and I actually am about to go, not right now, but soon I'm about to, like, clear out all the old stuff and, and drop some new stuff, rebranding. So look forward to nice. out for a lot of things. A lot of nice. things, apparel in the future, everything. I don't want to talk too much, but, yeah, I'm about to turn up for 2017. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Well, th again, thank you for stopping by Music Guys Magazine. And I want to thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I love the support. Thank you so much. And much success to you. Absolutely. Thank you. This is your girl, Trendy, singer, writer, and I want to give a big, 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 Big shout-out to Music Gods Magazine. Salute and Happy New Year.